In this video, I'm going to run the transaction MB59 download material document list. First of all, let me show you as a designer user where you would have access to this script in Inaware's cloud repository. I'm just going to click on this cloud button here. This takes me right into Inaware's templates located in our cloud repository. If I put in MB here, there you can see all of the transactions related to MB show up. Here I've got MB01. And then if I scroll down here, I've got MB51 as well as MB59. So that's just how you can access these scripts right from our cloud repository. Just double click on the one that you want and it will be downloaded to your hard drive. I'm going to exit out of here now and open up the script. Now I'm going to go to this iBook tab here. This is an internal instance of Excel. And so the data from this Excel worksheet is actually inside of the script itself. If I click on this button here, this just turns on my Excel menu, and then I can perform any of the operations that I would normally do in an Excel spreadsheet. But since we just want to focus on the data, I'm going to turn the menu off here. All right, so here I've got a list of material numbers, uh, plants, uh, storage location for one of these, movement types. And then this is the Excel file path and name. So this is where these material document lists will be downloaded to. So I've got four files here that are going to be created. And then I also have this option here if I want the output as a pivot table. So we'll see what this looks like for this uh, second one here on the third row. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to go ahead now uh, to my home tab here, and this is where I can select which rows to run. So I'm just going to leave this at a thousand because you can actually uh, have, you have a million row limit with Excel. So if I had, you know, thousands of material document lists that I needed to download, I can basically set this uh, for as high a number as I want as Excel has the million row limit. So let's go back uh, to the iBook tab here, and I'm just going to press the Run button now and run this transaction. And so first I need to log into SAP, so I can log into uh, any SAP system across my landscape. If I click on this button here, I can select from any of my SAP systems. Uh, I'm just going to stick with this first one here. I put in my username and password, click OK, and then the script executes. And we're going to see some pop-ups here as these Excel spreadsheets start uh, being created. So let's take a look now at our messaging. If I scroll over here, you can see that the SAP messaging writes directly to the Excel spreadsheet. And so this basically states that these were all successful runs here. I can also see over here in my run log that I had no errors. So now I'm going to pull up that folder where these are stored at. And let's take a look at these Excel spreadsheets that were just created. And here we have the files that were just created. I'm going to click on the first one. There you can see my data written to the Excel spreadsheet here. Got a list of documents here. And now let's take a look at the second one that had the pivot table. There on the sheet two, here you can see the pivot table. And then if I select sheet one, uh, the regular layout as in that first one. So that's been an example of how I can manually run the FB59 transaction. Now let's say that you had a list of thousands of materials that you wanted to download these material document lists for. I'm going to now show you how you can schedule this so you could have this run overnight or at any other time of your choosing and for as often as you would like. So I'm just going to delete my messaging here. Just kind of uh, clean this up a little bit. Now that this is cleaned up, let me also just go back to that folder and erase the ones that were just created. Now 
I'll just minimize it this time. And now I'm going to go to the scheduler tab here. I'm going to click on this new schedule. And here I can set this to run as often as I would like. So I'm going to set this to run once today. And let's make that, you can see down here it's 949. I'm going to set this at to run at 951. So let me just change this here. Now I need to give this a logon shortcut. So now that I've saved this, I'm going to exit out of Process Runner. And now what you're going to see is Process Runner turn itself on, run the transaction, and then shut itself off. So let's just watch the clock down here. And once this hits 951, we should, we'll see it execute on its own. There you can see it just hit 951. And now Process Runner is turning itself on and actually executing this MB59 script. Then you will also see Process Runner turn itself off once it's finished. So the great thing is you can have this run overnight and so if you have a really, really large download, you can just uh, set it to run overnight, come in the morning, and it'll all be done for you. So now that that's finished out, Process Runner, you can see, is logging itself off. Now it's turned itself off. And now I'm going to pull up that Inawera folder that I'd minimized earlier, where I had erased those files. You can see them here now. And there is my data. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, you can visit us at inawera.com, where you can also download a free trial version of Process Runner for 30 days.